What is up, guys? Lightning here, and I'm back with another episode of State of the K2. And you're probably wondering, who the heck is this? Because uh, you have not seen this girl, but... She's the newest recruit to the community. Her name is Elizabeth. And she has pretty decent stats, but the one problem is that she's in Pharmacology, and we already have someone in Pharmacology, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to exile one of these two. And it might end up being Jalen, because it turns out that he gets sick right really quickly. Like, I don't know. That's just, I guess that's just a trait for Jalen. He just gets sick Maybe. so quickly. Alright, but before I get to, or before I get a decision on any of that, I just wanna say that I'm... no... I can't even speak properly. I'm gonna finally show off Bull Trader uh, a function. So what you do is you uh, go to your radio and you call for traders. Now which one do I want to call for? Uh, um, how about I call for parts? We might get some parts, and what happens is that. Someone here wanting to trade. Come have a look. And what happens is that some trader just shows up, and you just uh, trade with them. Like, where are they? There they are. E Evie or Evie? I think it's Evie. Yeah. So what oh, what the heck? Like I don't have all this gear on me. I guess I'll switch over to someone else. Let's switch over to Maya. She can do the trading. Alright, I have a lot of trading items, and I could probably also trade some of these backpacks. Or maybe some of these items I have, like, maybe these stimulants. Can be traded. Oh, now that I think about it, maybe we can trade some of these strong painkillers. Since we have someone in pharmacology, we could be making all of these, so it makes perfect sense that we can do this. And thank you for killing the Zeds. Alright, come here, V. Hey there, business partner. Okay. Boom. I actually don't mind it. Boom. They seem like all right sorts. You get a crap ton of influence for it. I probably do want to get all these uh toolkits. This will slow me down. Uh the extra scraps will work. Let's trade the rest of these. I don't think we need any more parts, but I think the books will help. Yeah, that's what you do, and the trader just stays at your uh, base for like a while, like 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Alright, maybe I can trade something else. Let me see what I have. I can trade some more painkillers. Maybe I can trade some of my snacks. You know what? Let's try that. So we're gonna do a little bit of trading. Uh, a trading session. You got something for me? Okay. Oh, dang it. I'm not getting as much as I thought I would. Okay, maybe there's some mods that I can get rid of. Like, I don't think I need the water coolers. This will slow me down. Uh, I don't think I need the signal antennas. Um. I appreciate you guys making me feel at home. Get here. rid of some There's ammo. What? We're getting attacked right now? Oh, come on. Let's make Hold a deal. the phone. I need okay. to get 
I need to like trade. Okay, never mind. We're about to get attacked right now. Really? All these things happen usually when I'm like about to do a big trade. Like, come on. Alright. I think this is like the first time in forever since I played as Maya. So I'm I'm like game if I get to play it. Finally get to play as my own leader. And I think I know why I haven't been playing as her. It's because I wanna like uh level up the stats of my newer characters. Which is fairly reasonable. Like Elizabeth, she's very new. I wanna make sure she has very good stats. Oh! I can't keep this up. Get off! No! And also, something else I did. I went out and grabbed a couple of cars, and now I'm blocking some of the doors. There's only two ways the Zeds can get in. The front and the back, not from the side. So only a two-way entrance. So that kind of helps a little bit with the zombie invasions. All right. Is there anything else I can get out of Let's her for parts? All right. No. I, you know what? I might as well grab those parts. Why not? Even though I already have a bunch of parts, might as well just grab some. Oh boy. So there you go. That's how. That's basically how you do it. And you can call like different traders at once. You don't have to wait for that one trader to leave, you can call as many as you want. You can... And the thing is, like, uh, like, whatever kind of trader you call for, like, uh, for medicine, you will not only get, like, bags of medicine, but it will also call for, uh, it'll call for, like, a medical-related fac facility mods, like, uh, uh, like things to help uh, recovery f from uh, blood plague, uh, injury recovery, uh, um, uh, just just all that stuff. Pain, ability to make painkillers easier, all of that stuff is really helpful. And that's usually what the traders have on them. And then for food, it's mainly like gardening pods and snacks and all that. So it's, it's, it's so it's quite helpful with the way it is and the way it operates. Alright. That's something I want to do right now is I want is I want to use Elizabeth again. Why do you Okay, never mind. I that it's not the button. No, not gonna worry about that. Alright, I wanna use Elizabeth a little bit. And I want to have her go out, do some missions, and take out a play card. She's only going to do this uh, solo. She's going to be a one-woman army. But let's help the remaining soldiers I'm coming with your this way, one. You like me or not. I don't even think I have a generator, so if it's telling me that I have to go find this somewhere, then I'm probably not going to... It's probably going to take me a while to find it, because I do not have a... I do not have a portal generator in my locker. I think I might have had it, but I think I sold it at some point. I do not know. Oh, man. And we also finally got to do a little bit of trading. Like, this trade depot took forever to get built, and then I barely even played as my own leader. 
but you got to see a little bit of action. Fortress. I thought that was the whole idea. Hey, you're welcome here. Hi, Ke Keo. If I, can't I think that's how you say it. Keo. Yeah, I'll go search I'm for it. Again, can you give me a location where I can go find it? Because I'm probably not going to find it. Like, right now. Like, I don't even know where to start. Uh, you just find them randomly everywhere. Alright, but I'm not gonna worry about that just now, because that can hold off for as long as I possibly can. But something I am gonna do is I'm gonna take advantage of this whole zero cost followers with the enclave up here. Now, I'm gonna use one of them uh, uh, to help, or I want one of them to come out with me to help me out a play card. And that's the reason why I have all of these ex that's the reason why I have all of these explosives on me. Good to see you. Come in. Is because I'm ready to take out a play card. The grass. Wait, hold on. Good to see you. What are your fighting skills? Oh, your fighting skills are actually pretty good. Good to see you. Can you come help me out with something? After you. Yes, please come out with me. I'm feeling a little nervous about using one of my other survivors, but since this is like zero cost, why not? Uh, why not take advantage of it instead of risking your own survivors uh, dying? <sighs> I'm so glad that uh, these remaining soldiers are not like charging anything for uh, having them. Watch your back. I think that's pretty neat. Oh man, though. I've been playing a lot of the Daybreak DLC uh, recently, and I've been trying really hard to get all of to unlock everything because I want to get to be really able to build those values. Red Talon facilities because those are pretty awesome. We got zombies incoming. <laughs> All right, McGrath, let's get this started. Looks like another plague heart. What? Why are there so many zombies? Ah! That's your left of mark. Yeah, take that. Um, let's kill him. What are you doing out there, McGrath? Kill the screamer. Where is it? by those boat flares, so we can just kill them. Dang, uh, I 
full speed. So I thought they would all just die immediately. I'm surprised they're even alive. How would I get this job again? Like, but still, dang, that was a lot of them that showed up. All right. That's how you do it. We'd be idiots not to turn this into an outpost. Well, we don't really need this for an outpost because we already have enough beds for everyone. Uh, back at home. Do, do, do. I'm declaring this location Z free. McGrath seemed to, it seemed like she did pretty well We're done uh, here. in this uh, in helping me take out uh, help me take out this plague but she was quite helpful all right next what I want to do is uh killing zombies is exciting but it's not action movie exciting. I have an idea the to what? That. Start building a lounge? No, we don't need a lounge. We really don't. You know what? I'm thinking maybe we should try to take out another play heart. Because why not? I think we can do it. Besides, we have neighbors close by. They can be of assistance. Got a All we gotta do area. is run to them and they'll help. Path so we can get to them immediately if things go wrong. Alright, let's take out these guys. Why is this in like a a two-story house? This is not really gonna be helpful. Especially with where it's located. It's not really gonna help that much. Why'd you open the door? Oh, there are hordes out there. Screamer here. Screamer?
Forget the old rules. You get bit, and allies do shit if you need a dot. Alright, let's get outside. Neighbors. Neighbors. Shoot at them. Sword way. Switch our weapon though. We need a better weapon. Okay, I also wanna check to see if these guys have any guns. Do you have a You're gun? I can take oh. You do have a firecracker though, which I can use for distraction. So thank you. All right, let's head back over there and try this again. <laughs> this place and then we'll head back. Boring. Oh, uh, I think she's either sick or she is really injured. Wait, what? Something Let's on your mind? See. Oh, she's probably sick. Yeah, that might have been my fault, because we kind of didn't... 
come prepared. What now? My last one. No, I'm not helping you. Well, we found everything we can possibly find. It's clear. For the moment, at least. Yep, just for the moment. I found a crap ton of fake samples, though. So, uh, it's not like this was a total failure. Alright, come on, McGrath. Let's go back. And I'll drop you off back at your plane so you can uh, go rest up. Because dang, you you took quite a big beating. Thanks, Eds, I guess. Places right here. And there's a juggernaut? No. That's not a. Oh, I wish I didn't have to send you off. When there's a juggernaut near your home. What do you need? I'm dead on my feet. Seeing a doctor might be a good idea. Yeah, go see a doctor. so I can go find it, but they won't. Uh, that's really dumb. Yeah, it's me. I'm Growing back. up in America, I always thought we'd be taken care of. Another perfect supply run by me. Yep, I brought home some more materials. You guys. Alright, let's switch because Elizabeth has taken quite a beating. Oh wait, we probably wanna cure ourselves at least. Boom. Alright. Who do we want to be? Do you want to be Maya again? I think we want to be Maya. Okay, that parts trader is still at home. At least that's some good news. Well, I think things are finally starting to look up a little. But now I have a... I want to make a decision. I want... I'm gonna have to either exile Jalen or Elizabeth. Because they both have pharmacology, and I only need one person in pharmacology. So I think I'm gonna have to exile Jalen. But before I do that, I'm gonna have to strip him of his gear. He's not gonna be exiled with all this good gear. Like, heck no. You are getting this kind of backpack at best. I 
let you keep some bandages. I'll even give you some strong painkillers. I'll give you some snacks. And I'll give you uh, a Uzi. All of the ammo. Alright. Let's switch back to Maya. And let's... We're gonna exile him. Let's say goodbye to Jalen. He hasn't been with us for that long. Oh, wait. Hey, yo. I forgot to give him a weapon. I'm at least gonna give him a decent weapon. I'll give him a damage hatchet. Oh, wait, no. He specializes in blunt weapons. He probably doesn't want that. Oh, well, you know what? It could... No. See, I'm being very kind here, and I'm trying to give him, like, a decent weapon. He can have a red bar, and then, uh, and then a halogen tool. I think that's a fair share, so... Zombie, you are ruining my moment here. Okay. I guess we have to say goodbye to Jalen. And he's about to go to sleep. Are you kidding me? <sighs> hey, what's poppin'? Sorry, dude, you gotta go. It's not you, it's us. But you really have to leave. Well, that sucks. I guess there's no point in arguing. At least you're being classy. Yeah, at least you're being classy about it. Gave you some pretty good weapons there. And you just got attacked by a plague zit. <laughs> That's a great way to leave. Get attacked by some zeds. Alright. Bye, Jalen. So it's official now. Jalen is gone. It's pretty sad, but it had to be done. It just had to be done. He might show up uh, sometime again later, but you never know. You never know what's going to happen. I didn't want to do the decision, but... It had to be done because I want to get someone else with like different skills like we need people with different skills we can't have the same people we can't have people with the same skills that's just not gonna work out all right gotta shut that and is there anything like What? We don't have water. Alright, let's make some more of these. Okay. Alright. So it seems like we're doing okay-ish, I guess you could say. Oh, we get 7.2 food a day? Dang, I thought that said like 3 point something. And I think that was probably because I didn't have the water running. Maybe that was the reason. I don't know. Alright, I want to take a look again about how much materials we lose. Lose 3 materials a day. Because of our infirmary, the trade depot, the watchtower, and the farm. Dang it, man. At least I have an outpost. And also, since we had a bunch of ammo, I decided to make some of these high caliber bullets. I think these are good. Really good. 
Alright, Core, you're finding that you put yourself to good use and put out a radio signal. Sounds good to me. Alright, we got Elizabeth and then. No one's even right. No one's even there. What the heck? Alright, who's at the watchtower? Adrian and Pack. I guess everyone else is just chilling out. Alright, let's repair our weapon, the nail puller. Labor? Want me to contribute some guns to your arsenal? I don't know I could do that. But you're, you're, only getting, you're only getting a handgun. Nothing special. I'm not giving away any of my rifles. We need some rifles. And I probably am going to have to get an outpost for... I like for power eventually because we need to get some lights going. That's probably what the next outpost is going to be is getting some power. Even though I like the way the candlelight uh, functions, it looks pretty cool. But we got to we got to get some power eventually. Like come on. All right, I'm going to let Maya sleep. I'm going to switch over to Adrian again. I'm pretty sure that's who I switched off to last time, but whatever, that doesn't matter. Alright. I feel like I've taken Adrian out so many times, and he's killed so many Zeds, but his fighting has not even improved that much. Uh, that needs to go up more. Like, that's kind of dumb how that works. Alright, we don't need to do any of that. What's our gun uh, look like? Oh, we're out of ammo. Oops, might as well get some more. Perfect. Alright. I say we put the snacks back and uh, we use the country kitchen to make some nutritious snacks. Because those not only restore your stamina, but restore your health as well. And that's always helpful. Alright. Now I think this is where I'm going to end it off. So, anyway guys, this is LT75, or LT75, signing off. I will see you for the next episode of State of the K2. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.